Un peu tout speed. Cut. <rire> Hello, I'm Richard Bertinet, and today I'm with Gosne in their kitchen, um, and I'm going to show you how to make this baby there. Look at this. Beautiful brioche filled with caramelized apple, with cavados and caramel. So, stick with me. I need to start making the brioche dough first. I got uh, strong white flour, butter, some eggs, some yeast, some sugar, and some salt, and some milk. Trick with this, when you use a mixer, I always say try to put your liquid first. Stop from having a, a vacuum of flour at the bottom. Then your flour goes on top. I put my sugar on one side, salt on the other side, fresh yeast. Again, if you don't have fresh yeast, you can use a bit of dried yeast and my butter on top. And the beauty with the mixer, the mixer does a job for you. You don't have to rub anything, just put everything in. Okay, so everything in the bowl, lock it, and we use a dough hook for this. So, like any dough, always Spend a bit of time, the first three or four minutes on slow speed to blend your ingredients properly. Three or four minutes on slow speed, and then we put it on the number four or five speed until the dough comes completely clean, but you'll see that as we go along. So it's been about four minutes now, if you look in here, everything started to get together. Now I can put the speed up a little bit more. We're gonna go on about five or six. Good, 15, 20 minutes on the mixer. Your dough, you know when it's done, we get a nice, nice texture there. Look at this, beautiful. Don't be scared of it. Look at that beauty. So don't be scared of the dough. Don't add flour everywhere to start with. Just finish it off just like this. Just use a little scraper. Perfect. The dough don't stick to scraper. It will allow you to touch the dough without sticking everywhere. That's beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. And the top in here doesn't stick. So make sure when you scrape with your scraper, don't do this. Always keep your top on top in here. And just spin the dough around a little bit. And now a fine dusting, just a tiny bit in my bowl. And the dough's got to rest now. Like this, look at this. Tuck it in an hour, two hours and then I'll show you how to put everything together. Right, when the dough is resting, we're gonna make the filling now. And I love that part. So I got a really hot pan. It's been warming up red hot now. Let's put the butter on, have fun. Yeah, look at this. Sizzling away, put your apple on top. And put your sugar on top. And this goes back in your oven. So, if you look at my apple, the nice and caramelized now, it's time for the cabellos. Wee! Oh, yes! Oh, the smell, gorgeous. So, the smell is incredible. All the apples are nice and soft, it's divine. So it's time to have a bit of creme fraiche. The creme fraiche would link everything together. And back in the oven for a few minutes. So it's nice and reduced, my, my creme fraiche. So let's transfer this into a cold tray. Here we go. That shouldn't take too long to cool down. Okay, so my dough now has rested for an hour and a half. So let's have a look at this. More than double in size, still light and beautiful. So now I'm going to turn the dough over, take a tiny bit of flour on it. Work so fast, not too much, just a tiny bit nice. Turn the dough over, so keep your top down on the bottom there. So your sticky side is up. And just press it with your hand. You don't need a rolling pin, the dough is soft enough. Gorgeous. And now, I'm gonna put all the apple, it's nice and cold. All that caramel, that cabados. I wish you could smell it. So spray this all over. So by doing this, this is gonna flavor the inside of your brioche. You could add some cinnamon in there if you want to. Christmas, you know, or any time, if you like cinnamon. For this one, I keep it quite simple, and then I'm gonna roll it up. You don't want to be too tight when you roll it. Just do one fold. There, so it just roll over itself, but not too tight. So you end up with a big, long sausage like this. 
And the only thing we're going to do now is just put it on its side so your seam is just underneath in here and just roll it over itself. Put the tail just underneath like this. And then put a cake tin, a bit of baking parchment. Don't need to grease it so the brioche sit nicely on the middle there and this will keep everything nice and together, especially for the, for the oven, the heat will reflect against it. That's going to prove now, so it's going to re rise quite well for about another hour. Okay, so we'll see what's happened. Right, my brioche now is ready. What we've done with the oven, we took most of the ash out and leave a tiny bit in there because I don't want to bake my brioche under a 300 degree oven. So we need to about 200 degree, 180 um, should be fine. So we let it drop as much as we can. Look at this, it's written right on top of my on my door there, it's perfect. But when you touch it, it springs back a little bit. You don't want it to touch and collapse. So I'm gonna slice some apple. So be careful if you use a mandolin as thin as you can. That'll give you a nice finish. Whole eggs and a large pinch of salt. So the salt will cure and, uh, and cool your eggs a little bit. Good glaze and turn your brush over in and out all the time. Just like this. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking of another thing. You can put cheese inside instead of putting apple and the rest here. You can put some pieces of cheese and, and do the same concept. You can do a savoury one as also as you can do a, a sweet one. Just give you a nice little finish. So I'm going to pop this in the oven and I'll make sure the paper is not too close to the ash. I don't want it to burn. And we check it out in about 10 minutes, maybe five. That's just fit. How lucky. Look at this. One more centimeter, no way it could come out. That's nice. That should just come up of my tin. Yes, yeah, perfect. Okay. Not bad. Et voilà. Beautiful. Now the worst is waiting until it cools down. If it's too hot, it won't taste nice. Nice. For the full recipe for this, go on gosnet.com and then you can make it yourself. Now my turn to eat. Perfect. Oh, look at this. Full of apple. Nice and moist on the middle, beautiful. Look at this. We share with the rest of the crew. <laughs> Hello, I'm Richard Bertine, and today I'm at the Gosnick. I'm at Bob's kitchen. 